Hi folks, Gavin Nofke here. I'm just running up a steep hill out of Manuden in Essex. Hoping to do a trail marathon this morning. It's early morning ish, half past eight. It's about three degrees above freezing, so pretty cold. 10 mile an hour, northerly wind. So I'm doing this as part of training towards a 35 mile ultra in a month's time. Hoping to do it around four hours so roughly around a nine minute mile Almost six miles in. Just come through a nice woodland. We're heading into the village of Whittington. Actually, went out a bit fast. Currently averaging around 8 to 20 per mile. Well, it's okay, so I decided I'd stick with it. Let's see what happens. Obviously, you may prove costly later. The end. It feels okay at the moment. Just having a drink every time my watch beeps for the mile. Just having a sip every time. Just to remind myself to have a drink. Heading out on one of our Tuesday night mountain biking routes, the Thaxted Loop up to Thaxted Windmill and I'm heading north first because it's a lovely wind at the moment try and get that section out of the way first so we've got a tailwind on the way home
Oi. So there is the famed Fleur de Lis pub in Whittington, and that was Oscar the dog. I know them from our Tuesday night mountain biking. out past the church and then back onto the trails again. And I learned to take my sunglasses off whilst running through Woodland last year. No I just broke my ankle. Don't do that anymore. It's the church with the Union flag flying at half mast. And the death of Prince Philip a couple of days ago. going through 11 miles this is what's known as the tractor graveyard so if ever you need a spare wheel or a tyre for your tractor this is the place to come just had a really bizarre crampy in my right hamstring which I haven't experienced before which is odd because had the precision hydration electrolyte drink last night before I went to bed and also one this morning they're quite strong in the 1500 which normally work, work really well so fortunately I had brought a, also a precision hydration salt tab with me which I've taken and the cramping is slightly going away so that's great even managing to go a bit faster averaging 818 per mile I'm not sure if this, this pace is all going to fall apart later but we will see I feel okay at the moment though oh, and if you need a plough as well this is also a good place to come Through the village of Thaxted, ancient village of Thaxted. Through the church graveyard to the windmill. So half marathon gone through in 148.30. Still averaging 818 
he's still a little bit quick. But we we'll keep trying to go at this pace and see what happens. So, just about to go through 20 miles, which as most marathon runners will tell you, is where it really begins. This is where the legs start hurting, the lungs start burning, and you've really got to dig deep and run through the pain to get to the end. Really not too bad. The legs are in pain a bit. running through this old hornbeam woodland and oak. Still averaging 8.20, so really pleased with that. I'm not sure I can keep it up for the whole last 10k, I don't know. I'll try. It's not been easy running today. Although the mud is really dry. It's really rutted, you can see where during lockdown everyone's just been out walking all the time. So yeah, not not the easiest. Where it is dry, really dry, the mud's just like concrete. I've got my Ultra Olympus 4s on today, which are really good trail shoe, highly cushioned, so good for those longer distances. I've noticed they do get really easily muddied up when it is a bit wet and it doesn't clear them very quickly and they get really heavy because the large surface area of the, the soles. But they're doing well today. Okay, last six miles, let's see how we do. Coming into the picturesque village of Rickling Green. Cricket pitch and the redone pavilion, looking very nice, and the Cricketers Arms pub over there, which is lovely to sit out on a summer's afternoon. And the pub's open tomorrow, reopen tomorrow. It's another flag of St George at half mast. Almost at 23 miles. Don't think I've got any more hills left. It's pretty flat. So just hope I can slightly increase the pace. Over the last three miles. So I've dropped to an 8.21 and having kept to 8.20 all the way around I'm hoping to see if I can finish on 8.20 so we'll try anyway. It's 
going to head back off into the, onto the fields in a minute and then drop back down into Manhattan and hopefully finish the marathon. Just about to go through 26 miles. Going down the downs. And man, you done this is steep. Hoping I can hold this place of last point two to the royal box. That's a new marathon PB by five minutes. The last one I did was 2018, the Edinburgh Marathon in 343, which is obviously a road marathon. And this has been a trail effort. So this is much harder and carrying all your own water, etc. So yeah, really pleased. Obviously the big aerobic base is paying off after almost two years. My average heart rate was one, I think it was 144, 145. Um, and when I ran the, the Edinburgh race, it was about 155. So it shows you how much it's come down in almost two years. So very pleasing. Uh, what did I take with me? I only had enough tailwind for one bottle. So I had 600 mils of tailwind, 600 mils of water for the whole marathon and just about saw me through, I think. Legs are a bit sore. Uh, but yeah, really pleased with that. Onwards to the 35 mile ultra next month. Cheers, thanks for watching.